Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. Okay, so I was tagged by Lisa to answer these 21 questions. Actually, there's 20 questions. The last one is the tag. I'm going to do my best. I'm afraid I had to research because, you know what, I'm not good at this. But I tried to do, leave some stuff for the top of my head because, well, anyway. Let's get on with it so it's not too long. So, when is your birthday? Uh, April 12th. April 12th. You don't have to know the year. It doesn't matter. 1951. That makes me 64, in case anybody's wondering. Um, what are my three favorite colors? Um, I love pink. I like blue. I was trying to pick three. Green used to be my favorite color at one time when I was younger. So that's that. Three favorite quotes. I had to write them down because, I mean... I know them, but to say them now, I'd probably screw it all up. So, my favorite and very first one is, All that we are is a result of what we have thought. That's by Buddha. The other one, actually, there was two. There was, there was a couple of them, but I decided to go with these ones because these are sort of my favorites. Um, two of them are by Albert Einstein. One of them is, Imagination is Everything. It is the preview to life's coming attractions. I love that one. Um, and the last one is, anyone who has ever made a mistake hasn't tried anything new. Um, and I misquote those constantly. So, you know, that's why I wrote them down, because I do misquote them. Are you addicted to YouTube? Yes. I confess, I'm addicted to YouTube. Actually, I'm addicted to the internet, but I'm addicted to YouTube. Uh, what are your three favorite TV shows or YouTube or both? Well, I don't watch TV. Um, my favorite show of all time that I, I've been watching off and on since I was 16 is Coronation Street. See, uh, a British uh, daytime I like to call it a daytime drama, not a soap. Dog wants to go out, he's going to have to wait. You have to be patient now. Um, on YouTube, I really don't have any favorites, but I like DIYs. I really like those. And I love any of the craft, anything new that I can learn in crafting. So I'm kind of, you know, those are my favorites. Uh, I'm not into makeup. I never was. Uh, I like wearing it. Um, I like getting tips, but to constantly watch them is just not my thing. It's just not my thing at all. What are three qualities you like in a best friend? Oh, easy peasy. Easy patience, especially with me. Humor. We've got to be giggly and funny together. And understanding. Totally understanding. Anyone who is a really close friend of mine has those three qualities because those I need. Um, you know, there are others that are important too, like loyalty and, you know, stuff like that. But those three, patience, humor, and understanding are three qualities I, I even admire in people. Um, do you like your name? I don't know, I'm just kind of used to it now. I think when I was young, I always wanted to have a different name. I think all young girls go through that. I don't know if guys do. I know my daughter did. Um, if you have a choice to pick your own name, what would it be? I didn't answer this because I don't really, I never really thought about it. So I, I don't know. Never ever thought about it. Never, no. Not in at least 40 years or even more. Maybe 50 years. So we'll skip that one because I, if I was going to pick my own name, if I had a choice, nah, I don't know, no idea. Would have to be something really pretty, unusual, and you know had a sing to it, like a song, like you know a pretty 
when you say it, it would have to be unique and, I don't know, anyway, whatever. Um, what is your dream? And I didn't answer this one. I mean, I didn't write it down. Uh, I don't really have um, any dreams anymore. Um, I'm pretty well happy to be waking up every day. I know that's silly. Um, I suppose if I was to have a dream, it would be to be financially uh, more than comfortable, to have an abundance of finance so that I could travel more. I love to travel. I would love to do more of it. I think I was a gypsy in a, in a younger life, in a, another life, because I love, I love traveling. I, I love that stuff. Anyway, so that's so much from the dream. Do you wear makeup? Mm, yeah, sometimes, most of the time when I go out. If you were to write a book, what would be the title and what would it be about? Well, I've written a couple. To be honest, it's all fiction. I, I like fiction. Um, I find, went through a period of time where self-help books were available or getting into philosophy or getting into the psychic uh, world, spiritual world. I was, you know, I, I delved into all of those things. But when I write, it's usually something that just pops in my head. Um, I did write something. I wrote this down, but I don't really want to talk about it too much. But um, I did write a fiction book. Um, it was called, uh, the working title was called Echoes from a Clarinet. Um, and it's kind of a suspense drama. It uh, was basically about a woman who lost her husband. He had died. And there are secrets based on his music. And that's all I want to say about it. So it's kind of, you know, anyway, it's still in the works. But that was one of them. That, that was one of my favorites. Um, I did write another one um, that I haven't completed. It's, it's completed, but it's, it needs editing. I just kind of shoved it away. And uh, it's about... Uh, it's a ghost spirit, an angel, um, who tries to help a little boy, and basically it's all about his life, and it's a secret taker. Now, I know there's been titles, and that's my working title, uh, but um, I haven't written in three years, so, you know, this has been the longest gap for me of not writing. I mean, I did write uh, a little poetry a little while back that I shared, um, and I did write a few other things, but not getting into it so anyway what makes you cry oh my god happy tears happy crying is when I hear my grandsons especially when they were little their giggle there's something about a child's giggle that brings tears to my eyes it just swells me up um, sad movies you know I love love stories um, Things like that. I love the old black and white movies. So I watch Turner Classic movies whenever I can. So, you know, I'll tear up on some of those. What makes me angry? I don't really get angry very often. But the big, big number one thing that makes me angry is when I am wrongly judged or accused of something. Especially when I have no idea what it was. That makes me angry because I can't figure out how they could come up with something like that. So that is basically it. I don't really get angry. I get upset a little bit, but I never really get angry. What makes me happy? Oh, my grandsons make me happy. My time alone makes me happy. Um, going for walks with my dog, I'm happy. Um, I'm happy pretty much all the time. I do, I do get down a little bit. I did have kind of a down. This I couldn't figure out here. What is fangirling? I have no idea. Fangirling? Whatever. 
16. What are your three favorite snacks? Mm, well, I like potato chips, and my favorite is the Lay's, plain Lay's potato chips. Love those. Those are my favorite. I like brownies, but really, if I'm going to snack, this is going to sound really weird, but I love to have, especially at night, I'll have a cup of tea, and I like baguettes with a little butter and cheese, and I'll have my cup of tea with my, that's my, I like that kind of snack. Um, number 17, what are your three favorite foods? All three of these, they're my favorites, and I have them not very often. Like, I love Chinese food. Um, I maybe every couple of months I'll have that, and it's, I love it. I used to eat it more often, but I'm alone, and I only cook for me, so um, I don't have it that often. Um, I like lasagna, and I like my grandmother's pot roast. And I make it just like her. And the, the, the trick the, to the taste that I love is turnips. Um, what are your three favorite drinks? Well, tea. Um, I drink tea. I like Coke. Um, and there's a drink, alcohol drink, um, that my daughter introduced me to by making me a fantastic Christmas drink about two or three years ago. And the liqueur is hypnotic. It's blue. It is, I tried it one time. Uh, was it last Christmas? Yes, she didn't have any mix for it. And I tried it with just plain on ice. Oh my God, and I haven't bought myself any yet. It's quite expensive. I think it's like $30 a bottle or something. Speaking of drinks, I never drink. And I'm having a glass of wine tonight because I'm hoping it'll help me kind of relax and go to sleep. I have two bottles in the fridge. I had one drink at Christmas. I'm a teetotaler most of the time, but tonight I felt like having a glass of wine. Um, can you tell us a little about yourself? At least 10 random facts. Okay, number 10. I did write these down. I like to try new things. Um, things that I haven't tried before, and I don't mean skydiving, stuff like that. Um, just things that other people have done that I've never done before. I like trying something new like that. Number nine, I love being on my own. I love being on my own. Even as a child, I used to like being alone. I used to like shopping alone. I used to like doing things on my own. I think it's because, um... I don't, I like to do things on my own, especially new things on my own, uh, that nobody knows me or knows that I'm doing it, because if I make a mistake, there's only me that knows about it and whoever is around that maybe doesn't know me very well. I don't know why, that's just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm afraid of failing. I don't think I'm afraid of failing. I think when I was a little girl, maybe, but I always wanted to do things that made myself proud, so I don't know. Number eight, um, I love to have fun. Um, I like to be happy, I like to enjoy myself, and um, I like to, you know, do silly things and make fun of myself. I really don't mind. That's probably why I like humorous friends. Number seven, um, I love to travel. Oh, I used to travel so much, and since I've retired, and my plan was to just travel when I retired, like, don't worry about anything, and just go, and life happens, you know. Um, I rescued a puppy that I hadn't planned on having any dogs. I had cats most of my life. I had dogs when I was young, but, and then I got elderly uh, family members that uh, need me, and babysitting, grandsons. But one day, I'm going to shake the boat and do things for myself. But, but I love to travel. I'd love to travel to see all you girls. Wouldn't that be great? Make a whole summer of it and just travel to all the different places, the different states, and say hi. Maybe go visit G down in uh, Australia. Woo! That'd be awesome. Anyway, six. Um, yeah, I wanted to be a nun when I was a young girl growing up. I really, really wanted to be a nun. Or a teacher. Those were two things that I wanted to be. Um, number five, 
I taught college night classes for about six years uh, on computer stuff, software. Number five, this number four, um, I love writing. Um, even notes. I like making up little poems. I like, you know, I like writing. Number three, I love researching. I love learning. I love learning. Knowledge is such a wonderful thing, and I love, if there's something I don't know, I'm going to research it, and I'm going to find out all about it. I just, just love it, just love it. Number two, I have a dog and two cats, in case you didn't know. Uh, and number one, I'm very close to my mom. I'm like, we're best friends. Um, I've always been close to my mom. Um, and when I lost my dad, we became even closer. Um, I think I was 42, so that was quite a few years ago, 22 years ago. Um, da -dum, da -dum. I'm doing a lot of umming, I'm sorry. That was number 19. Number 20, what are your three fun things to do? My three fun things to do. I didn't write these down either. Oh, I love crafting. I mean, you guys know that. I love YouTubing. I love doing this stuff. Um, I love doing this. Um, the crafting thing is a whole new outlet for me. It's a whole new creative outlet, and I really, really, really enjoy that. I gotta have a sip of my wine. I'm sorry. I like a very, very dry, dry wine. If it's sweet, it's yucky. Three things. Crafting. That's three things, fun things I like to do. Fun things I like to do. I like to be on YouTube. I like doing all of that. For me, fun things is, is doing things. I don't know. I don't know what else. I mean, I like to write. I love writing. It, but it may not be fun to some people. Um... I like my volunteer work. That's fun for me. I, I actually, it's quite enjoyable. I really enjoy doing that. Um, especially when there's a lot of elderly people. I, you become like family to them. Especially when, when you're, you're as patient as I am and caring as I am. Um, and the last thing, because I don't know what else you guys want to know. If there's anything else you want to know, comment below and let me know. Um, tag three people. So I've got three people here in mind. Uh, Susan Dedden. I don't know Susan. Miss Sunshine, I don't know if you have uh, done this yet, but I'd sure like to see you do it again with these questions. Um, oh gosh, i got to try and put them down at the bottom. Okay, I think I can copy and paste. Two youths transplanted. I'd love to hear from you ladies. I think you've done it before. But um, if you have, just let me know and we'll figure out something. And you'll never guess who is the third person. Mike. Lisa's hubby. Mike Shepherdson, I'd like you to do one, and I would love to see it. And I think a lot of us would like to see it. Those are the three. Now, really, um, anyone who's watching who would like to do this, please feel free to try this 21 questions. I'll put them, if I don't forget, I'll put them in the description below. That's it. Those are the questions. I uh, hope you got to know me a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if you do. I'd still like to know what that fangirling thing is. Fangirl. Try and figure it out with the young people today in their term. You gotta be a girl and you gotta be fangirling. Does that mean that you're a fan of some girl? I don't know. Let me know guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to finish my wine. I'm going to try and get to bed early tonight. Um, it's oh, after one, I think. To me, this is early. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Snail mail would be really nice, but nobody knows my address. Oh, well.
Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.